Buenos dias, muchachos y muchachas. Today, I'm in the center of La Paz, right here on the central square, Plaza Murillo. Behind me, over here, is the government building, and over on the other side, that's the parliament. This is one of the interesting things about Bolivia, that they have these separate buildings, one for the government and one for the parliament. House here built by Evo Morales, former ruler of La Paz or Bolivia. And today up there sits Arce, the president of Bolivia. Now, I think this plaza here is very beautiful, but I think let's go and find less touristy areas. Let's go explore this city. Let's see what it has to offer. Let's go explore. All right, so I've armed myself, as you've guessed from the title, with 70 Bolivianos or $10. And with that, I'm gonna see how much I can get in this whole city for $10 tonight or today. And we're gonna go explore, I think, as beautiful as this central area is. It's also quite touristy and there's not that much to buy here, just cafes and restaurants. So I think, let's get out of this touristy area and let's go up on the hills. Let's see if we can find some markets, some real La Paz, and let's see what we can find, what we can buy. Maybe some fruits, some sandals, socks, whatever. Let's go explore. Let's go and see what we can find. Okay, so I've left the central behind and I've come to the old central train station here. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Here are some of the old train cars as well that we can go and have a look at and see. This old train station is so beautiful. It says 1904 on the information plate over there. Look inside. I don't know how well you can see. There's not much inside. But just think, these old trains were going back in the day up these crazy hills around this city. It's such a shame that those that this train station isn't functioning anymore. Because I would love to take a train like this all the way to another part of Bolivia. That would be beautiful, riding along the countryside on the Altiplano. But yeah, this train station, it mentions that some of the train wagons were blown up in 1964, 69, sorry, when the massive explosion happened near another station where they, where they were storing dynamite. So obviously these trains were probably, I'm guessing, mainly used for mining back in the day and not so much for passengers. And yeah, here's another train cart here. Not much. I think it's a cafe, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be open. Here we go, looking down. Isn't that beautiful? Such a beautiful old building this. Here's some decoration thing. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's fine. <laughs> Here's the Cholita. I see, I see. So you can go and become a Cholita like this. <laughs> what do you think? Do I look good with this kind of hat? <laughs> All right. Let's go explore some more. Spectacular. This is another thing. Bravo. Muy bueno. ¿De qué son las disfraces? Caporales. 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 Así. Machas caporal. ¿Es para carnaval? Eh, normalmente se baila en varias festividades patrióticas que hay. Esta danza es típica de La Paz, Bolivia, Ajá. caporal. Entonces se baila en el carnaval, en, la, en diferentes entradas como, como la entrada del Gran Poder o el, el famoso carnaval de Oruro. El, 
mexicano, vale Oruro, eso he escuchado. Sí. Exacto, sí. Ahí eso también es se va. Muy bonitos los trajes. Gracias. ¿Es este aquí de La Paz? Sí, ¿De otra de parte Paz. del país? No, de La Paz. Ah, ok. Sí. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Chao. Chao. So, yeah. I think I'll just leave the music behind here. YouTube doesn't like that. But yeah, these kind of try. Um, uh, what do you call it? Dresses? Are really, really common all over Bolivia. Star Wars. Festival de Star Wars. Or película. Festival. Festival. Tal vez para mañana. Mañana. Ah. Voy a venir mañana entonces. The Star Wars festival as well. I'm more into the old <laughs> Bolivian festivals. They're so beautiful, those clothes that they're wearing, the traditional clothes. All right, let's go and see what this music is all about. If they're playing live or if it's just someone playing with their, uh, with their speaker. Well, it is someone playing live. I don't know if you can hear me now. It is really loud. They're all just selling handicrafts here, jackets. No one is selling the coffee that I wanted or uh, the Sardinia. So we'll see. But this train station. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right. Now, I think over here, I know there are some markets where they're selling stuff. All sorts of stuff. And there I will surely be able to find and try the famous Sardinia of, uh, of La Paz, of Bolivia. Probably the best empanada in the world. All right. And with the view, of Ilimani, the big mountain over there in the background. I'm leaving the teleférico behind and now let's go out and explore this this area of the city. I know there's a lot of markets around here. It's just about finding them. So let's go explore that. And by the way, yeah, I forgot to say, I think, that uh, the teleférico cost me three Bolivianos. So very, very cheap. What is that? 40, 40 cents in terms of dollars, uh, something like that. So yeah, there's plenty left of the budget to, to go explore and to go and see what we can find, what we can buy in this market. Look at this old bus. That is mental. The buses here in La Paz are so crazy. They always surprise me. Here's another one, look at this one. Old Dutch, American. They're so beautiful as well. So cute. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, here's Sardinas, I think. Yeah, these are the Sardinas. Buenas, Sardinas? De qué, ¿De qué tiene? Tenemos cuatro sabores. ¿De pollo? Tenemos la mixta, que es pollo y carne. Ajá. Luego tenemos la de fricase. Ajá. Tenemos sí. el, la Santa Clara, que es de puro pollo, pero no, ya no hay. Y la novedad, que es, que es un macho. Uh, que es un macho. Es un plato de, típico de Vegetariano. La Paz. Claro, sí. ah, eso, pero es un plato original de la paz y eso lo hemos ah eso suena rico cuánto vale uno cualquiera le cuesta seis bolivianos en el de queso macha y la salsa clara el mixto y el fricasé vale seis ese con queso macha quiero probar una por favor ya. su queso macha es como 
eh, así, amarillo, eh, ¿no? Claro, ¿no? Eh, normal tiene la así, Ajá. y luego eh, el mote y queso y la papa. Ah. A ver, ¿puedes sacar esto? No hay problema. Un momento. Hay que sacar. El queso macha he probado en plato simple. Ah, ¿no? sí. Ese es súper rico. Exacto. Seis, ¿no? Sí, señor. Aquí. Ahí ya. Que su macho es muy rico. A ver, es casi esta. como usted dice, eh, una salteña vegetariana. Porque Excelente. no lleva nada de carne. A ver, ya pruebe. Mm. Y jugoso. Claro. Es muy bueno. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Abraham. Abraham. En las salteñas, qué rico. Uh -huh. El nombre lo dice, ¿no? Y usted ya está probando. Ah, aquí dice, salteño, es que rico. Qué rico. Y usted ya está probando y es rico o no es rico. Es como el plato normal, pero en, usted, picas, en salteño. En la salteño. Excelente. Gracias. ¿No hay de qué? Bienvenido. Aquí, aquí a la vuelta hay mercados, ¿no? A este lado. Bajando por acá y va para la mano. Pues, o Buenos si Aires no es aquí no, o hacia abajo. abajo. Hacia abajo, ok, gracias. Ok, son salteñas. There you go. Can you see inside? Take a look at that, all that juice. The legend goes if you spill whilst eating the salteña, then you're not a good kisser. So, I think I'm gonna have to eat this without spilling. All right, so we've come around the corner and we've found the market area. This all, this whole area over here is chaotic, as you can hear. Beeping, there's music, shirts, alpaca shirts, all sorts of interesting stuff going on here. Certainly won't be bored. Um, so let's see if I can find some socks or some sandals. I need that as well. Somewhere here there should be some interesting stuff to find. Oh, I'm in the middle of the street. <laughs> I'll follow the lady with the food. She knows what she's doing. So we have these guys here. Just selling truckloads of tomatoes, food stands. There's so much stuff going on here. And shopping malls get built, loud music. I think we're gonna escape that, escape that music for a sec. YouTube doesn't like that. All right, I've made it into this area here with lots of sock, uh, clothes. So there must be some socks here somewhere, maybe. Donde eh, medias? Medias. Tiene? Más arriba. Más arriba. Uh -huh. Okay. Gracias. Further up, on the right hand side, they say. Look at that, the Bolivian flag. It's a beautiful, oh, yeah. beautiful little market here. Let's see here, socks. Where are we? Medias tiene? Más arriba? Aquí? Vale, este señor? Okay, gracias. A couple more. <laughs> we'll find socks. Medias? Pura polera. Okay, gracias. Here? Medias tiene? No. No? Okay. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Lots of socks. Hola. Las medias, ¿a cuánto están? 
eh, como este 30 tienes unos esto igual 30 ok tres par no quiere firmar ok es para youtube para que te vendes más más medias al, al futuro ok a ver entonces tienen tamaño una sola tal okay. uno este entonces 30 vale a ti no ok solo estoy firmando este lado Ok. ¿Dónde va a llevar esa firma? A YouTube. Para que vendes más medias al futuro. Ah, ya, yeah. gracias. Para ti. No es nada malo. Nada malo. Ya, joven. Todo mejor. Gracias. Ya, joven. Ok. Excelente. Gracias. Ah, sí una bolsa <laughs> gracias buen día ok armed with socks 30 bolivianos for the socks the lady wasn't too happy about me filming her but still a lovely lady that's the thing here in La Paz a lot of the ladies they don't like to be filmed Makes it a little bit hard, but it is what it is. They're still very nice. Like, as you heard, she was talking to me and letting me know, just don't film me, but you can film anything else. So yeah, there's lots of interesting, um, interesting ladies here, interesting people. The culture is beautiful, but filming can be a bit tough sometimes. Oh, what is that? We're out again, yet another bus, just cruising down in the middle of all people. It's crazy here at this area. But yeah, with the socks, <coughs> that leaves us about 30 Bolivianos left, 31 Bolivianos to be exact, left of the budget. So I think we're gonna go and see what we can find here. Let's see, there are some there's lots of stuff here. Fresh juices, uh, shoes, there's all sorts of stuff. It's busy, busy, busy. Oh, the clown is out today as well. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué vendes? Tenemos chicharrones, papá. Tenemos pique mancha, tenemos picante mixto. Ah, es grande, pero. Sí, delicioso, papá. Busco más chiquititos, salteñas, cosas así. Salteñas, ahorita esta hora no se ve acá, pero se hace dado. Sándwiches. Sales de chola también te puedo ofrecer acá en el cementerio. Más arriba, sí, un poco más arriba. Sí. Ok, sándwich de chola. Sí, sándwich de chola. Gracias. Salteñas o tucumanas también. Ok, muy bien, papá. gracias. Alright, a sándwich de chola. That's a lovely, like, pork sandwich. And as we know, pork sandwiches are a big favorite of mine. So let's go and hunt for some of that. That sounds like a great idea. The clown is always right. Vamos el payaso. So yeah, all these markets here. Look at that. You can have meat here as well. Literally meat, fruit, fish over here as well. There are so many interesting things for sale there. Look at that. Fish out in the air here as well. This basically like one massive shopping center. All these streets here, you can find anything. There's butchers, um, there's butchers, there's food, groceries, uh, cleaning products, uh, breakfast products, everything you can find here. Cakes, electronics, 
shoes. It's like a massive shopping center. I'm just asking you, what do you prefer? A boring Western shopping center or this? Look at all this life here. All these ladies, all the men, all families just out enjoying their morning, shopping. And then take a look at that, that view. Look at that mountain. This, this is La Paz. This is beautiful. Much better than the touristy area. Come up here, up in these areas <coughs> and find literally anything you want. Look at that beautiful steak there as well. Anything, I'm telling you. I think I'm getting thirsty, so I'm gonna hunt for a little drink of some sort. Let's go and find. There's so much fruit here. There. There's fresh fruit juices somewhere as well. I know they're here. It's just about finding them. Let's go. Keep exploring. Medias, tienes? Esos seis a diez, ¿cuáles son? Esta? Sí. Es una talla. Seis a diez, única talla. Única talla. Vale. Diez nomás. Okay. Me llevo uno ese. Tiene bolsa. Claro. Aquí tienes. Listo, gracias. Gracias. All right. Now I definitely have enough socks. Those were a lot cheaper. Did that lady rip me off or what? Just six pairs here for ten bolivianos. The other ones were, what were they? 30 for three pairs. Here I have six pairs. That is mental. 10 bolivianos is basically a dollar for six pairs of, of socks. I think that lady had a field day with me. <laughs> oh, never mind. She was nice anyways. <laughs> but how is it that cheap? Look, here are some of the classic dresses for sale as well the skirts that the that the ladies there are wearing the classic cholitas of la paz of bolivia to be honest all over bolivia that's another thing that i really really love about bolivia the culture is so well maintained here compared to so many other places in the, in the world it just looks the same everywhere here look at these ladies look. beautiful that's basically her backpack that she's carrying whatever in there I guess whatever she's just bought here today at the market here are some of the joyas esos son para los bailes las señoritas las cholitas son super bonitas y que es la piedra son finas son de vidrio de como de vidrio Ah, no, es eh, diam diamond, diamante. Mm, ¿Así? ¿Ah, ¿O vidrio nomás? No, diamante. Diamante. Los sí. caros. ¿Cuánto sí. costará uno es así? Los grandes. Mm, como 80 bolivianos. Uh, no tan caro todavía. Vale. Gracias. Ok. Only 80 bucks. 80 bolivianos. For the. For the for the jewelry for the ladies that's not too bad all right so with this i'm down to 20 bolivianos left i'm just kind of walking here i don't really know where i'm going take a look at it isn't it crazy and here we see the hats that all the ladies are wearing here's the shop selling all these bowler hats that all the, the ladies around town are wearing. ¿Ustedes bailan? La dueña no está. No está. ¿Saben cuándo vale una, una gorra? ¿Una gorra? Sí. ¿Cuánto me vas a pagar ahora? Te puedo avisar. Sí, ¿cuánto sale? Más o menos. Dame un dólar, pues te voy a avisar. 
Ah, bueno, ni modo. All right. She does not want to, want me to. The, the, the owner is not there, and she wants money to speak to tell me what the price is. So we're not going to find out. But yeah, those are the hats that uh, that the ladies are wearing all over. Oh, okay. ¿Qué es, ¿Qué es eso? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Algo estás buscando? De... Jugo. Jugo, jugo de... Naranja o algo así. Allá al frente, allá esquina. Ahí al frente. Allá, allá, allá. Allá está. Ah, Poner la sí, bandera veo, bolilla. Veo, veo, veo. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Ahí un jugo. ¿Qué, ahí. ¿Qué vendes? Yo vendo esto. Galletas. Galletas, sí. ¿Y sabes? Aquí en la esquina hay una tienda de las gorras que vende, que tomen las señoras aquí. ¿Sabes más o menos usted el precio de eso? ¿De las gorras? La gorra puede costar 50 bolivianos. Ah, más finitos puede costar 120. Ah, según la marca. También hay de 10 pesos. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Tan barato? Ah, ¿Y cuánto vale más o menos? O, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Qué es la historia de eso? Horas. Es como los que utilizan en Inglaterra. Hola, hola. ¿Sabes? La gorra es para la, la cara te protege, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Para que no se muevas negro, para que no te choco. <risa> para que no el cabello me lo choco. Para que, pa que no se muevas negro, que se, se mantenga, se rompe. Ah, ok, ok, ok. ok. ¿De qué país es usted? ¿Cómo? ¿De Dinamarca? Dinamarca. ¿Y tú de aquí? De acá. La Paz. La Paz. Otro lado de Bolivia. No, no, de aquí, de aquí. De, de aquí, La Paz. De La Paz. ¿Y tu nombre? Yo me llamo Papanchito. Papanchito. Sí, Tata Panchito, sin pistola. <risa> sin pistola. Sin pistola. ¿Te tiene pistola? No. No tiene pistola. Solo cámara. Ah, solo cámara. ¿Y me puede regalar esa cámara? No, no, no. <risa> Necesito para hacer mis videos. Ah, videos. Para que te mando más gente comprando tus galletas. Ah, comprame mi galleta, 10 pesitos. 10 pesos? Sí. Vale, te compro una. Claro. Dime, sí. Panchatito, ¿sí? ¿Cómo te decía tu nombre? Panchito sin pistola. Panchito sin pistola. Con pistola. ¿Eh? A ver, aquí A ver, tienes. Cámbiame, señora. Cámbiame. La señora va a estar vendiendo. Llévate, amigo. Gracias. 10 pesitos. ¿Me puedes agarrar un momento? ¿Cómo no? Probable. Escuché ah. que es algo como... Que han llegado esos coras de Inglaterra, ¿no? Sí, sí, en la tierra. De Inglaterra se sí, llegaron. Sí. Gracias. Es que le bendiga. ¿Cuál es su nombre de usted? Sebastián. Ah, Sebastián. Sí. Sebastián. De Dinamarca. Dinamarca. ¿Sabes dónde es? No, sé. No, sí. En el norte de Europa. Oh, más o menos al lado de esta, estado, estadio, más o menos estado mayor, digo al lado de Estados Unidos, no es otro. No, Europa, eh, los vikingos. Ah, vikingos. Listo. Gracias. Un gustazo conocerlo. Igual. <risa> Jugo más por allá dices. Allá, 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 donde el micro rojo. Gracias. Sí, que me voy a ver. What a nice man. So about 50 to 120 uh, bolivianos for. Uh, for the hats there. So that's about 10 to 15 dollars. That's actually not bad at all. I bought him some some of his biscuits since he was such a nice man. I don't actually need biscuits, but Panchito sin pistola. <laughs> what a legend. All right, where do I find? I see juice over there. So they literally sell the feet of the cow as well. Interesting. Not a single piece of meat is going to go to waste here. The feet of the cow as well. What the hell do they use that for? Here you can see just more proper cuts of meat behind me there. That is I've not seen that before. Literally selling both the heads and the feet of the, of the cow. That is new to me. 
that you could use all of that. <laughs> so you gotta give it to the Bolivians. They are creative with their food. As you saw the other day, I was trying the cow penis. Yeah, let's just say I wasn't impressed. <laughs> the caldo de cardan. But yeah, that just goes to show they really aren't messing about with their food here. Literally everything gets used. Beautiful. There's something beautiful about that. Like it comes from the from the Pachamama religion, I think. Like that whole religion is basically about appreciating Mother Earth and what God has given us and not wasting anything that that could be used. So they'd literally go ahead and use just about everything from the penis to the feet of the cow. To the best cuts, everything gets used. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it does come from that Pachamama uh, religion. That whole idea of being in touch with Mother Earth and yeah, not wasting, not wasting any, any minerals. Look at that, here's another tienda of like all the la ropa, the royal classic dresses, the, the, the skirts that they're wearing. Another hat shop here as well. And the jewelry. Impressive stuff. Wow. I'm surprised that it doesn't cost that much more. I thought it was really expensive. Buenos dias. Yeah. Buenos dias. Por si acaso, todo un outfit así. ¿Cuánto vale? Ese le sale 1580. 1500. Todo así. Con la gorra y todo. Menos Con la gorra. Eso te puede salir por lo menos si quieres completo todo conjunto unos 2300. 2300. Ah. Okay. Muchos gastan en su ropa entonces. Es un símbolo de qué símbolo? Las diferentes colores tienen diferentes sim... significados o algo así. Mm, no, bueno, como es ahorita pues... digamos el de gusto nomás. Departamento, digamos, son señores de pollera, más por eso es que manejan. Ah, de diferentes lados del país. Sí. Ok. Ajá. ¿Y aquí estás haciendo uno? Sí. Ah, wow. <risa> Bonito. Gracias. Yeah. Ten buen día. Yeah. <risa> so about 2,000 something bolivianos. Um, for a whole outfit with the hat and everything. And as you see, the hand sewing it, hands sewing it there. Um, so real handmade stuff. They buy all the, all the, what you call it, the fabric and make it themselves. But about 2000, what's that? That is like, I think 400, $400, $500, something like that. That's a lot of money for, for one outfit with all these jewelries as well. I think finally I've hit jackpot here. Hugo? Vende? Caliente, frío? Caliente, como? Ah, it's. It's a cusito, a parilla, a parilla, a naranja, a parilla. Naranja, a parilla. Eh, ¿Cuánto vale? Cinco. ¿Cinco? Sí. sí. A la parrilla entonces probaré. Ya, Nunca he probado. ¿Nunca has probado? No. Ahora vas a probar caserita. Sí. Naranja a la parrilla. ¿Cómo lo haces así? Estoy haciendo parrilla también. Ajá. ¿Es con gas? Con gas. Con carbón. Con gas. Con gas. Vale, vale. Entonces el jugo sale caliente. Caliente. Naranja la parilla. Ah. Interesante. Interesante, ¿no? Sí. Así nomás hacemos los pasillos. Jugo caliente. Jugo 
caliente, jugo frío, jugo al hielo ahí también. Sí. Tengo sed, así que va a ser bien. Sí. Hay juguito casi calentito, comían de abeja caserito. So she's just squeezing them there, fresh, hot oranges. Down here. The fresh presser and she's got them on the grill here. A gas grill. There we go. Gracias. Salud. Es interesante, es como más dulce, ¿no? Cuando es. Sí, así es. Cuando es eh, caliente. Ajá, más ¿Cómo te llamas? Doña Mari. Mari. Sí. ¿Tú eres de aquí? Sí, sí, de aquí, de este lugar. ¿De esta zona? No, yo no. ¿Otra soy... zona? ¿Otro yo, de La Paz? Yo soy de Oruro. Mm. Ororiña, pero aquí era. Oruro. Hablé antes con chicas que me decían en la. El carnaval en Oruro, ah, que sí. se necesita ver, ¿no? Sí. ¿Te has ido entonces? ¿Varias veces? Sí, he ido a bailar en Oruro. ¿Tú bailas en, ah, en la en, carnaval? No, en... ¿O solo ves el...? Veo. ¿Ves, Tomás? Ok. Es como grande como en Brasil igual, ¿no? Ah, sí. Nunca he ido. Pero me gustaría ver, mucha gente me, me dice. Y esto es piña. Ah. Y lo estás poniendo jugo, solo para que no seque. Sí, si nos puede secar. Rico tu jugo, Mario. ¿Sí? Muy bueno. Hay poquito caliente, ah. casi. Gracias. Sí, Refill. <laughs> ya pase, dice, ¿no? Ya pase. Aumento. Salud. Aquí tienes entonces. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Chao, chao. All right. Five, five Bolivianos back in change there. Just five Bolivianos for fresh juice and even with refill. Such a nice lady from the area making hot orange juice. I've never tried that before. That is that is new to me. Hola, ¿esto cuánto vale? A cinco bolivianos. ¿A cinco? Sí. A ver, dame uno entonces, por favor. ¿Así? ¿Qué tiene? ¿Papaya o qué es? Papaya, plátano, sandía, piña. Sandía. Ah, ok. Perfecto, gracias. All right, so we got ourselves a juice here. Or a fruit salad just five bolivianos and it's full of papaya banana mandarins and was a kiwi and watermelon as well just five bolivianos for that that is fair price that's also going to be the end of my ten dollars that's a lot of stuff we got here lots of socks Biscuits from the, the lovely man, fruit juices and fruit salad. All right, how am I supposed to do this? Let's see. <laughs> All the girls over here are looking. Hola, <laughs> ¿cómo están? 
They're having a blast. <laughs> They're cracking up of me taking videos. Lovely watermelon here. Phenomenal and fresh. All right. Let's dive in to the salad here. That is not bad at all. I think it's papaya juice as well that it's in. Look at these girls, they're paid full of shoes. Muchos zapatos. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're camera shy. <laughs> de Dinamarca. Wow. de aquí? De La Paz. Oruro. Oruro, iguales. Como la dueña aquí. Arriba. De ustedes bailan en el carnaval? Carnaval de Oruro. Es bonito, ¿no? Sí. Chao. Chao, gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs> All right, lots of people from Oruro out today. All right, I'll finish my juice here. And then, then I'll pick it up afterwards. <laughs> great, great, great mood from the world there. Great vibes. Pick some of that up on your Saturday. Okay, so that was the fruit salad finish there. And that also brings an end to my 10 Bolivianos, or my $10, 70 Bolivianos. I am left with one Boliviano, but I think we got a good, good days out of that. Full stomach, fruit salad, juice, a sardinha. We tried all of that. We got our hands on some socks. A shit ton of socks at this point. <laughs> Nine pairs of socks. I have enough for for a while now. And then some biscuits from the legend. What was his name? Pachito Cinco <laughs> The best man in all of the past. What a legend that man was. He was so nice. And yeah, that just goes to show you. They might be a little bit tough on the surface, the Pasenos. But if you can break in, if you just chat with them, give them a smile, they will be more than happy to chat with you as well. Very nice people. And with that said, I will end the video here. Click subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below what was your favorite part or did I miss anything? And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you when I see you.